We've got some fresh hey, I'm Luis, and I'm Luis, and you're listening before. to the Content is Profit oh, podcast. We spent the last four years learning the strategies and techniques from some of the top marketers in the world on how to create content that turns into profit. If you'd like to learn more about how to turn your content into profit, go to contentisprofit.com. Woo! All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. What are we going to talk about today? Hold on. Let me tell you that that was fire. I think that's the best intro we've done so far. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Let us know if it was smooth in the comments <laughs> below. Just, just say hashtag smooth yeah. and we'll give you a shout out for sure. For, uh, for those <laughs> listening to the podcast, uh, we decided to do this intro live just so we can get comfortable with it. If we need to change it up a little bit, we can. So that's why you hear every week. In and yeah. out. I think it, doing it, it live. I think it also help us get in tune with our characters for the podcast, right? I think it's I think oh, it's yeah. gonna be interesting. And by characters in the podcast is something that we're gonna be talking about today. So just a second. That's, so that's the hook right there for you to keep listening. Fonzie, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about to podcast or not to podcast. And why <laughs> you should probably do it, right? Yeah. Like why you what should you do, whether it is podcast or I don't know, something else. That's exactly. what we're going to figure out in this episode right now. All right. Before we start and we dive in into these awesome stories and the topic that we have today, make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, any podcast platform we are out there, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher. Google. Yeah. So Google Podcast. Yeah. Just, you know, share it. Comment if you want to support us, subscribe, leave us a review. Yeah. We would really, really appreciate it. Yeah, again, this is episode nine, so open for feedback 100%. So leave oh, your yeah. comments. Definitely. Right. And if you are someone that loves creating content, loves marketing, you know, loves to solve problems, and you have a business, let us know and we'll, we might even bring you onto the podcast. We want to talk to you. We want to know what are your thoughts around content. All right. 100%. All right. So, Fancy, why should you podcast or not to podcast? Whew, what should you do? What should you do? So, uh, I think at first, for people that's starting, that's a very, very tough question, right? Because there are so many things out there. And we were in that exact same situation when we started, right? We heard it over and over again. You need to publish. You need to publish. How do we find all this information? Because other pu other people publish. So I think in the back of our minds, we always knew we needed to. But then we were like, okay, well, do I do it on Facebook? Or do I do it on Instagram? Yeah. And do it in, in all these platforms is different. Uh, it obviously takes a lot, a lot of effort to do it just like in one platform individually. So let alone like all platforms. All the platforms, there. yeah. Um, so... I the way what happened right like i'm gonna fast forward here on the story a little bit but we ended up picking podcast as our main main platform right and the question is like why why we decided to to get podcast and do you remember when we decided to that this was gonna be our platform i do remember actually <laughs> it was about a year and a half ago a uh, little less than as in we're recording this episode it was a year and a half ago and this is episode 10 and the last Nine. This is episode nine. Episode nine. Sorry. Yeah. The first five episodes we recorded in January. So about two months ago, two or three months ago. Yeah. And today, like in the last two weeks, we've recorded four episodes. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think we've, we've al always been, again, if you've listened to the first few episodes, you know that our journey has been all over the place. Um, <laughs> we became, we started, you know, as a social media, media marketing agency, and then we turned into the video guys and so on and so on but we always knew in the back of our heads again that we needed to publish create yeah. create this content the problem is we didn't know who we were talking to who was our dream customer and nailing that down helped us decide hey you know what i think podcast is the right platform for us because the people that are gonna buy from us they are listening to podcasts they are producing podcasts and right. they're in that podcast community right that's right so tell me you tell me a little bit more on the story on how so, uh, i actually how we started the podcast i thing. actually went facebook live last night 
well it's crazy like with everything that's going on in the world i was actually gonna tune in like i'm okay i'm gonna go live at 11 at night um there might be not like internet might be resting right now but i think facebook broke so i couldn't broadcast that's the first time man that's the first time in like 90 days anyway so i had to go on instagram and share this story but i was so excited because as in that like the day that we're recording this episode yesterday our podcast went live and uh, on apple apple store man come on yes we gotta celebrate Let's go. yeah so I, I was so excited i wanted to celebrate this uh win with like the people that follow our journey and i couldn't go live and the story i wanted to tell which i told today on a facebook live before this episode because i gotta go live <laughs> uh was uh, like the, the day that we decided to do this and uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i was telling everybody that you have a better memory than i do 100%. So I, I, for, I for certain things. I, I, I tend to start like telling my these go, my stories. Girlfriend, my girlfriend would say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll definitely say no. Anyways, I, I, I'm, I'm starting to share like this story. And so I tell people, like, okay, well, my brother might correct me. So correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I will. It was about a year and a half ago. And we are driving back from this crazy event that we did. Okay. The World Tough is Modern. Is that correct? I attached this story to that event. I don't know why. That is incorrect. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to tell your story. I want to hear it. That is okay. Okay. Even if it is, even if it's incorrect, well, I want to hear the story. Dang it. Now. I don't know. I don't know why I attach it to to that one story. But anyway, so we were driving back to to our home. Right. It was a long drive. No. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let, let, for the sake of the story, let's just say just keep going with the story that we're driving, and then I'll give you my version. And then we said, we need to start a podcast. We had a revelations and normally, and the reason I attach it to driving maybe is because every time we go on road trips, we, we, we compete in like all these crazy races and we've done Tough Mudders and Spartan races. We, we get epiphanies. as well. We, uh, yeah. So I, I think that's our thinking moment. So I think that's why I attach it to, to that. But anyways, so, so we were driving and, and we just decided that we were going to start a podcast because that was the way to go. And as we're driving, this is like a four hour drive. At least this is the story I remember. <laughs> Holy, like I mean, the four hour, the four hour drive part. You are correct. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm Man. looking at you like that. We forgot the whole story. <laughs> no, okay. I keep telling the story. Okay. The, the four hour part is is right. It was a four hour drive. Four, okay. Yes, I got it. <laughs> right. So and then we start making this whole list of the people that we're gonna invite, like invite the people we're gonna talk to, and I don't even know who's on that list anymore because in year and a half, obviously the objectives have changed on what the podcast uh, turned out to be. Yep, is that correct? I mean, it, yes, that part is correct. Yes, okay. The, the list. <laughs> My I, goodness. I'm gonna assume that list disappeared. Honestly, I don't even know where where that list is. Well, we had a pretty big list of people that we wanted to talk to. Yeah, so what was the main idea uh, back then? Well, before the main idea, I'm going to go back to the main, <laughs> the real story. The real story. So oh, the yeah. real story is that we were driving wow. four hours, like he said, but we were driving our parents back from Jacksonville to Miami because they were there. We they go. were going to okay. hop on a plane and go back to Venezuela. That is where we're from. Okay. So that makes on our sense. way there, we were just thinking, and then all of a sudden we're like, you know what? Collaboration is key. And we, at the moment, we were working on the fitness industry. Yes. And one of the fitness coaches that was working at the studio, she was like a local influencer. And we're like, you know what? Like, we have these contacts. We can probably bring them over and and have them part of having part of the podcast. And then they can share it and we can tap into their audiences. Okay. But we were also like, what if we do the podcast in local breweries? <laughs> and we call the podcast Bruce and Bros. Yes. Okay. And yeah. That, that's how it originated. And actually, the first few episodes that I we recorded, the the unpublished, the unpublished episodes, they were called Bruce and Bros. And that's why we got that, that little that's sound, we got in that there. sound in there. Yeah. Um, but that's <laughs> that's the story, right? We were wow. driving to Miami. Okay. It okay. was in the car. We created the list of people that we wanted to talk to at that moment, but we were. Even in a different industry than what we are right now. Yeah. We were talking to a whole different crowd that we were talking and that, to right and now. And that's why the list is nowhere to be fine right now because... We don't actually the, need that list. Exactly. The episode evolved to a point where we're going to be interview, interviewing some different people, some mm -hmm. different peeps. Now, um, 
So that's cool. That reminds. Okay, well, thank you for updating me on the my story bank. You are very welcome. I I I yeah, bad memory. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So okay. So uh, actually, this morning I was listening to an awesome audiobook called Traffic Secrets, mm -hmm. um, and they were talking there about the power of a platform, and I think this is the starting point on 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 what platform you should choose. And they were talking, I can't remember exactly the name of the person, but they were in The Apprentice, the show with uh, the great or the crazy, whoever you are, Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so The Apprentice. And the, the whole point of that event was to, or that episode, was to recollect a lot of money for charity, right? So this participant started to call a ton of people. Like he's on his phone like every, the whole day and he would not get any answers, right? And at the end of the episode, uh, when they asked him why he was not able to to get like all this money, and this is Celebrity Apprentice, so it's a lot of famous people, right? So it should be easy to raise some money. Yeah. He's like, guys, when I had a platform, everybody will return my phone call. Right now, I don't have a platform, so nobody will return that phone call. And uh, that was that was a crazy moment. The phone call or the fun call. <laughs> Got no. moment for that? That was not no, a, a wow. good moment. Okay. Yeah, that's a, a, a dad joke moment. And now wow, I'm, and he's not even a dad. I'm not even the dad in here. All right, sorry, keep on. Right, so. <laughs> I think the goal moment was my part of the story. Anyway, so so yeah, so that explains the, the, the power of that platform, right? If you have a place where you create content consistently and you yep. provide that space for other people to come on and share their message, that puts you in a position of power. And expertise. Yeah. And expertise and building rapport with your audience and with the audience of, of the people that you bring on, right? So a lot of people are very comfortable uh, with their voices so they can start podcasting. A lot of people are very comfortable in video so they can do video, right? Some people are very comfortable writing so they can write blogs. So I guess, you should choose a platform that better suits you, right? Why, yeah. why, did, that we, why did we pick a podcast? So uh, I'm going to agree and disagree with that statement uh, just because I think you should pick the platform where the people that's going to buy from you are, right? Because we're talking here from a business point of view, right? If, if you love to write and the people that are going to buy from you, the one platform, the, sorry, if you like to write and the people that are going to buy from you love to read, then sure, like those two align and therefore you can write your blog post and whatnot. But if you love to write, but your people are consuming all their information on podcasts or YouTube, then writing will probably not get you where you want to be in the most effective way. Right. So I, I agree with you. Now, this is a great segue to our, our second point, right? Which is... Fear. Like I, th I think not publishing or like ch choosing that platform might be a, a degree of fear, right? So, um, if, if if you're starting, right? If you're starting, hey, I completely agree with you. Like as a business, you should be where your clientele, your dream client is, a hundred percent. Yeah, big well, time. And we can come back to that. But what if for somebody that's just starting up, right? What's the platform that they should pick? Well, the, again, that's gonna depend on who they're gonna be selling, right? Because, again, for example, and I'm going to use our story. When we started, we were um, we started selling social media marketing agency services to restaurants. Yeah. And honestly, we, did, we weren't wise enough to pick the right restaurants. But for us, our platform that we picked was Facebook. And at the moment, honestly, it was like the, the main thing that we knew of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I honestly, to this day, I don't even know if it was the right platform because we didn't do any research, you know, to see where these people were getting their information. So for all that we know, the few sales that we got were from literally like cold call calling and knocking on doors. Yeah. So all of our efforts that we did in social media might have been for nothing, right? Now, fast forward to what we're doing right now, and we did our research, we know who we're talking to, and we decided to do the... 45 live challenge. Yeah. And we got business from that, 
Why? Because we knew our audience, part of our audience is hanging out in Facebook and they like to consume long form video content, right? Because yep. that's the people that we're targeting. So now we leveled up a little bit and we know we're specifically talking to people that produce podcast, long form, uh, long form content like podcasts or long YouTube interview videos. And so we decided let's move on to the podcast platform. We yeah. need to create a presence there so we can be the platform, right? Invite other people that come yeah. over. We can talk to them, share their message and... It's just gonna help us position position us in the right in the right place in the in the right spot in our customers' mind. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's like, how bad you want it, right? Because yeah, uh, going with that fear moment, right? Let's say, I mean, you play soccer, right? I play soccer. We we we're both athletes or yep. we're athletes right now. I can roll down the street, but we were we were athletes. athletes. Um, but even if you were like. There's always, a, and if you're listening, right? Like, think about if you like sports or you loved or love to play sports, you're gonna play no matter what. Even if you're freaking out, you have all those butterflies in your in your stomach and your belly, you're gonna just step on that field and play and have fun. So, with this, is no different. Yeah, uh, so, so. right. You, you you want an objective. You want to go play. You want to win. With this, right? With content creation and content specifically to create profit, you have to go where your dream clients are. Yeah, no, definitely. And it's funny that you mentioned the example of being athletes because it wasn't until about a year ago when I heard Steve Larson said like, this is my sport, that business, you know, uh, direct response marketing, this is my sport. That kind of like clicked in my head. I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. You know, we practice soccer pretty much all, all our entire life so we could be good at it and don't have the fear when we had to perform. And it's the same with business, right? Like, we need to practice, we need to fail, we need to get better at it. Yeah. So then we can do it on a more consistent basis without the fear. And sometimes the fear doesn't go away. But <laughs> no. what you do is you train yourself to move forward regardless of the fear. Yeah, I, I think it's been interesting because like when when we work with people actually creating content, we actually work with uh, these awesome coaches that they will perform in front of 30 people like for three hours straight, different groups. So they'll see 100 people and they'll literally perform. They'll have a mic on their face. Yeah. And, um, and then we will create content with them and they will freeze in front of a camera, right? Yeah. And, and we couldn't understand why. Is it the the fear to the unknown? If you're listening, right? What? Yeah, what let us know what's let us know. stopping you. What's stopping you? Send us a DM at, at, at bizbrosco in Instagram. Yeah, if you're live on Facebook right now, see we have a few people there. Just drop it in the comments below. Yeah. What is your what? What's your fear? What's stopping you from producing that type of content that you that you know you need? Right? Where yeah. is your audience? Because again, you might like to write, but your audience might be in the podcast platform or vice versa. Yeah, and I and I remember um, I actually had like this one when I, I, I was working in that environment, I had this one member that she she showed up, right? And she's like, Luis, you had you have such a great energy. Like, why don't you share that with the world? I'm like, ah, what are you talking about? <laughs> like I share it with, you know, people every time they come into the studio or I th at least I think I, I'm doing that, right? It's like, no, well, well, what are you like on social media? And, and that was around the time that we were like, uh, creating this whole plan for those studios and stuff like that. Um, you you should be on camera, right? Like, and we had wonderful coaches and I'm like, no, I don't think so, you know? And I, and then we started talking and she did like this whole session on me that day. <laughs> but at the end of the day, she's like, hey, like I understood that I had this false belief story in my head that if I, if I would put myself out there on video, uh, people from back home will see it and then they will be either angry at me because I was having a blast doing what I love to do. And that was a fake story that I was putting in my head. And she yeah. asked me this question. What if you are able to help someone because you put yourself out there? So, so I ask you that same question right now. If you're struggling to start publishing a podcast on video, think about that client that you can help today that that, that they might not get their message because message. you are 
not willing to take that step forward, you know, take that risk of publishing and maybe making a mistake, you know? Exactly. Because it's totally, it's totally fine to make mistakes if you see your last episode <laughs> full of mistakes. Full um, of mistakes. And I, I agree 100%. I think it's a matter of perspective at some point, right? It, yeah. it, 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 I think people, it gets to a point and it took us around three years to get to the point where we had the perspective on like, hey, like, I don't really care if you judge me on the other side of the screen. I don't really care if I make a mistake, you know, because I know I'm going to get better. And we truly know that we can help people, you're right, or dream clients. We know we can help them with the message that we're talking about. Yeah. So I think, it, yeah, it's definitely a matter of fact, uh, a matter of a perspective. And I remember, again, three years ago, I was sitting in my room. It was like, this is, no, actually, it was like four years ago when we were <laughs> recently starting. And I was in my room and I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm working from the house and I would take pictures of the computer and I'll be like uh, on Instagram, I'll put like hashtag laptop lifestyle. But in, like, was it was I being productive at all? Like nothing at all. Yeah. And I remember I was looking at this. I don't know why I remember this so well, but I was looking at Lewis House, something from his content. And I mean, if you follow him, you know that he grew his, his platform being the... The platform provider, let's say, right? Like he would invite people to his podcast. He still does. He still does. Yeah. And he shares their, me their message with everybody. And he grew his podcast massively, right? So I remember seeing that and I saw a video of him explaining that. And I was like, that's what I need to do. I need to start publishing. I need to start talking on camera and stuff. And I made all this plan. I made it like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to talk about. And then at the time of doing it, I didn't do anything, right? And yeah. I remember the exact thought that went through my head and it was like what are like oh what if like what are my friends going to say, right? What what if they see this video and like nobody likes it and whatnot. And obviously now at this point thinking back I, I'm like I wish I would have started then because imagine yeah. the progress that you that I would have done in four years, it would have been huge, right? And I want to tie that to fear of public speaking, right? It, it is proven that Fear of public speaking is one of the biggest fears in the world. I think it's like second after the fear of death, something yeah. like that. And I mean, you can see that. Like, if you go to any class, like public speaking class, everybody's terrified to standing yeah. up and having a like a two three minute speech. Yeah, and I and I think doing video or sharing your voice through a podcast resembles a lot public speaking. Yeah. Therefore, a lot of people are like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Even if your mind is telling you to do it. The other, you know, like your old brain, the one that runs on emotions and everything is, and, and that wants you to be safe is telling yeah. you, don't do it. Like, stop, stop it. Yeah. And, but you got to push through again. You got to train your body to push. So through how that do fear. you, if for those listeners right now that are struggling to get their message out, right? They, they know they got to publish. They know they got to stay consistent. Like we talked in the last episode, they know they have a message that is so worth it for their audience, but they're still not publishing. Why do you think the solution is? I mean, it's personally, I think it's to take it one step at a time, right? And while well, we talked, part of what we talked on last episode it, that it was creating those frameworks that are gonna facilitate it for you, right? Your calendar. Not but, oh, my calendar again. <laughs> I, I was sure I stopped it. <laughs> Whatever, it's gonna stay there. No, so, the video. <laughs> Ah, I'll all be right, right back, people. All right, guys. So while he... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Clearly, we cannot stay away from the bloopers, guys. I am so sorry. I am here dying laughing. But anyways, <laughs> while he... <laughs> so if you, if you tuned in the last three episodes... I'm back. Uh, the reason we're cracking up right now is because the setup that we have, that we decided to do, is we're plugging in our phone to record and multitask and, and have a, an awesome awesome content strategy that we're going to share with you guys later. But these notifications keep coming up and Fonzie is dropping the ball. Yeah. So anyways, pick up where you, where you left off. Parentheses. I have scheduled every day from like <laughs> nine to 10. Uh, my, it's like a drag and drop in my calendar where I put education, right? So I'm like, okay, I block an hour a day, see what I'm going to learn today. And I mean, it keeps popping up because <laughs> we keep recording the podcast at the same, t the same time every Every oh, day. I love it. This, uh, um, yeah, no, nothing can be there. Okay. And talking about fear, right? Like imagine like 
th this would have happened to us, what, like a year ago? And, and we would have stopped everything. Stop the whole o episode. Honestly, I, I think we wouldn't be recording live. We would be yeah. recording. And then if something like that happens, we were like, no, 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 let's start over again. And then realizing that we had to start over again after recording for 30 minutes, we'll be like, forget it. We'll, let's, we'll, yeah, we'll just let's, let it let's go. Just and drop I, it. And I think because now we see the payoff of publishing consistently, being yourself, sharing your journey, right? Uh, we've seen it not not only on ourselves, but with a lot of people that publish consistently, right? And and if you go back and you see those first episodes, um, it's 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 crazy. Like it, I mean, it, I, I will still consider that these are some of the first episodes. Yeah, but but, but still back to the first Facebook Live, the the forty five live. Exactly like the first, first one. But I'm I'm talking not just about us because ours. Yeah, you should go back and watch them, and you you'll laugh like crazy. <laughs> but uh, like other people, like you know, same Russell Branson, the same Steve Larson, like these guys, right? Even Lewis Howes, right? Like, yeah. I, I wonder what the first episode was, and that's fine. I just, I mean, no. they, they just went over that fear, and I think we like we gave us permission to to do this like this. Because that payoff and the connections that, and the conversations that we've been having with people are so much valuable that it that allow us to push through that fear. Yeah, no, definitely. And um, yeah, it, so I'm, I'm gonna take that what you said and circle back to what we were talking about. You know, kind of like where where should they start? And I think is by training that fear, right? Training yeah. yourself to take that step uh, and conquering that fear. And sometimes we're so used to think on like problems that we're gonna go ahead, right? Like for example, if we were to start a podcast, we're like, okay, but like, what is gonna be the art that we're gonna use for the cover, and what, how are we gonna publish it, and like, how are we gonna create the blog post? You're thinking five steps ahead, and that's how we used to think too. We used to think five, six, even like ten steps ahead, and that's just gonna like freeze you right where you are. Because you're not gonna obviously you're not gonna know where you, what to do. Yeah. Because that's a moment that that's a problem of the future, right? You only have one immediate problem, and your immediate problem is how do I record it, right? Or, I, 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 or I, when am I gonna record this? You know, is it today in the afternoon or tomorrow morning? You know, and exactly. do that, and then move on to the next problem. So step by step. Exactly. So I, I think that's like the perfect bridge for the last. Like thing that we that, like that we see, right? It's like people get so hung up on, okay, perfect, I, I got it, you know, or I gotta do it, and you know the, th the same thing. Like they immediately in their head they start building all these stories yeah. and these like future problems that are not even real, right? Um, and it's like, where do I publish? How do I publish? Like, what do I need to do? The techie stuff, like who's gonna do it? Like we have so many conversations with people that are so excited and motivated to do, especially in like this podcast um, conference that we went PodFest, right? Uh, yeah. Like, a, what is it, like a month ago, maybe three weeks ago? Three weeks um, ago yeah. There's so many people that are motivated with all the tools possible to do it. And you know, it's like paralysis by analysis because there's so many options and um, and I think our, our our story of just doing it, just go Facebook Live, you know, what's a minimal, minimal, side, viable, minimal viable content? Viable content? I mean, you look at people like, again, Russell, right? Like, he's the perfect example. He started he, his podcast. If you go listen to Marketing Secrets, is recorded on a phone. On a phone. And this is a guy that has a billion-dollar company. Yeah. And he records it on a phone. So what, what does that tell you, right? Um, do not m try to stay away from those future problems that Fonsi was just describing. Just focus on one step at a time. Yeah. And then... And I, and I think it's, yeah. we naturally tend to go there just because it's the fear of the unknown and we're like, oh, what could happen, you know, if we do this, X, Y, Z. Yeah. Um, but again, yeah, like he said, just try to come back to the present and say, okay, my immediate problem is that I'm not recording, so exactly. how am I going to record this, right? Is it going to be my phone? Okay, cool. Grab my phone. And then... What is your next problem after you record? And so on and so on, right? I love it. Um, definitely that. And yeah, like we were the, well, not you. Honestly, it was me. I was the one that I'm like. Not I, you. I, I, I need, I, no, no, not you, me. I was like, I need the best of the best <laughs> if I want to start doing something, right? So for He's example, when Mr. We, Perfectionist like when we, when we started working with restaurants and we were like, yeah, we'll produce content. I was like. Uh, the guy we were learning from, he was like, oh, yeah, you can do it um, with your phone, right? You can do it with your phone. It'll be no problem and stuff. So I started doing it with my phone, and I was like, heck no. I was like, <laughs> like this is yeah. horrible. I want it to look like this. 
Instagram pictures that I see that look amazing. So I'm going to learn how to do it that way. So we bought the DJI Ronin for the phone, the stabilizer, and I filmed a few videos. And then I was like, you know no, what? Still no. no. Still no. We need a camera. Still not good enough. We got a camera. Didn't know how to use it. And then yeah. the fast forward a few, like, few years forward and... He became we, the video guy. No, like <laughs> when we record the podcast, we're like, okay, let's start a podcast. Yeah. And we immediately bought like the, the full equipment, right? And These are the episodes that we keep telling you that we're probably going to package and yeah. probably gift to you as a Christmas present or yeah. something. I think, They're hilarious. I think to a point for, obviously, be, not everybody has the ability of investing on a, a podcast setup, right? Yeah. yeah. But the, again, and we tell this to everybody The quality of the message, the uh, the quality of the message is way more important than the quality of the production, right? So yeah. I think to a point, the fact that we had this help help us to start because we were like, dude, we spend all this money on this thing, we need to use it. Yeah, we um, we, work, we tend to work a little bit better under pressure. Under pressure, but again, you don't need any of this to start. You, your the guy four <laughs> years ago was right. Your phone. Is all you need, honestly. The phone is all you need. Um, so I, I definitely encourage you guys, like if if you are listening right now or you're tuning on Facebook Live with us, uh, tell us, communicate with us. Um, go follow, go message at Biz Bros Go. We're yeah. happy to help with any resources, any questions you might have, especially if you're like going through th this. Like we understand that we went through that process. We're going through that process right now as we do this, right? Yeah. Uh, this is not easy for us to do go live. Even though some of us to do is that we are naturals. I don't think we are. Like, I think we like enter like this persona that allows us to do this. But every time we are about to do this, it, we we freak out. And we tell, hey, we're going to go live at 7.30 and then it's 8 p.m. And we haven't gone live yet. And it might be because we might be a little bit freaking out uh, that we're doing this. So understand that we're going through this. So we're happy to help if you have any questions. Um, yeah. I, I think, you know, part... I think one quote that kind of stuck with me big time was, I think it was Steve that said that, the obstacle is the way. That was Ryan Holiday's quote, right? That's his book. That's he his book. book yeah. The obstacle is the way. I haven't read the book, um, but yeah, I mean, and the, the logo that he showed was this mountain, right? And there's a trail that goes all the way up in the mountain. And uh, it is truly the way because as you push through, through those challenges, you're going to learn so, so, so much. Uh, and then when you look back, you're not going to believe where you are. So the only way to do that is to start today. Yeah. So uh, co commit and commit. do it. Commit and do it. All right, guys. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, I, I guess think this is it. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> send us a review. Send us some comments. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Share the love. Because yep. we are putting our hearts into this and we would love to know what you think. That's right. Guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Bye.